chicken, man. First and foremost, I want to give a major shout out to uh, the whole, everybody who participated in this interview, his mother, auntie, his baby mama, sister and brother. Shout out to the whole Smoker City, all his cousins, the whole host. Uh, I shot this documentary the very next day after he was shot and killed, gunned down. I wanted to get everything in the heat of the moment to show that it was real and, and, it, and it's, it's authentic. You know, just sit back and enjoy. Okay, then. I'm not Bitch. When he was a little boy and he first messed his, messed his leg up, I gave every penny I could to try to get it straight. He the one with head me going and out you know of what? town. I was sending him dollars yeah. and this and that, so I, he always had a special heart in my, in, uh, special place yeah. in my heart. But let me say this. I want everybody to look around, look at these little kids. Man, please, these are the people that you got to hug right now. Cause it's crazy out here. You don't know what's finna happen, who's finna go, or whether or not you gonna go. But this is one thing I want y'all to do. Give your kids a hug and think about my little cousin like this. We don't have to think about them when we re reminisce about this sad moment. We can reminisce in our life every memory, all the good times and the fun times and the things he did to make us laugh. You know what I'm saying? The things he did to make us smile. He was a good kid. I know every, you can tell by the people out here, he touched everyone, he touched everyone. my favorite cuz I hate we meet on these conditions and it, it's so much shit that me and Lil Hot have been through that I can't I can't sit in here and explain all that This shit took my heart, my, this shit took my heart away. Hey. Come on, man. You know that my ain't ever going in and out of the show. Okay, do what it get real lit. It's like the hard, it was a real hard part for me. Interviewing his AT right here. Uh, Y'all check it out. Judy. Uh, I'm the auntie of Rodriguez's party. Okay. So, how was Mr. Rodriguez coming up in life? Huh? How was he coming up in life? What type of person he was? Hard-headed. Hard-headed. He was sweet boy, though. Hard-headed. 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 H
Good to meet you. I'm right behind Kelvin. I know you're behind me. Put Daryl and Mario, all of them, and this sister Riri, all of them hung together. All the way. I hadn't time. even got to that part. And I wasn't even going to say nothing about that. <laughs> but they skip school. <coughs> and he been having me smoking. Me in my house all the time. I was trying to run him home. And then when he go home, he'll start doing stuff, cleaning up anything. This me let him stay. But I didn't stay. Or hide in the backyard. He didn't, didn't deserve, he didn't deserve what happened to him. Not at all. Talk to them. You gonna ask you a question? Who we get on the phone? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Tell your name. Tell me your name. What's your name? Okay. Who who are you to Rodrigue? I'm in Big Blood. Yeah, they just want to say, man, I've been with a man since he was a baby. Grew up with me. Told him around my back all my life that where he needed to go to do that deal. Just want to say, man, pray. I hope that God. My name is Delilah Dye, I'm Rodriguez's great auntie. I know him when he was born in this world. I watched him grow up. I watched him play. And he was a good child. He was no bad person. And my only thing is, I want them to get justice, find them folks, find them before they get found and get them, get them out of here. Because that was a, that's a hurting thing. And I can't get over with it, i never forget it. And I'm the type like this, once I see you do something to mine, I'm gonna do something to yours. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm putting it out here on them. I want everybody to know this. I don't like what's going down, I don't like the shit that's going down. Ain't nobody gonna take nobody else out of my family. Not if I can help it, cause it's wrong. Rodriguez wouldn't bother nobody. Rodriguez wasn't even able to fight nobody. And that's, that's a, 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 a no-nothing ass coward ass nigga to shoot him in the back. Why you can't shoot him in the face? You a damn coward. You'll be a coward the rest of your life. So guess what? They taking cowards out of him. And he need to get out. Real talk, he need to go. And I'm telling everybody that, whoever listen to me, y'all need to get him out of him. That's all I got to say. I'm hurt right now. Hot to pee, man. Man, they know it was a, for a feet, not for free. Come on, man. Young people with the biggest. I'm telling you, man. And man took that real North Memphis pimping out there, man. And man, 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 create a wave, man. <laughs> He ready to check it in, he ready to fight it in. Man, man, man. I ain't lost so many, man. We lost so many people. But when I lost my grandma on my birthday, I could have sworn the world. Man. Then I lost my cousin the other night. Man, I'm standing there, man. I, I feel like I was a jerk. I don't know. I'm, I couldn't see nobody. I couldn't feel nobody. It's like I had a real out of body spirit. Like I was flown through the motherfucking universe. <laughs> I live with dude. I know I do. I feel, man. I feel this shit. Yeah, yeah. Young and child, man. Look to real, man. The dude. The cousin. Okay. Y'all know, man.
big bro, man. You hear me? That's my motherfucking brother. Fuck you, talking about H O T the feet, man. Yeah, man. Little nigga with the biggest feet, man. Y'all know he was. You got the next one on top, man. Come on, man. Yeah, that nigga used to always kick my ass. I swear to God, stay here, me crying. God, hard, hard, hard on me, Jesus. One leg ass nigga, man. Man, it put me in all type of wrestling moves, everything. <laughs> One leg ass nigga, man. Oh, God, stay, man. Go you ever seen a nigga so strong, man? I'm crushing on one leg, man. They don't do it. Man, man, it's pretty good. I love it. Come up off your one leg. It was mine. I looked up to all them niggas, all these niggas. I looked up to them. You know what I'm saying? Man, we look bad, don't we? We might look up to Jenny right here. We whooped y'all ass up for y'all that want to look up to Jenny. Tell me how hard I'm hitting mine. We used to tell you about my own. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, look. Yeah, I remember, man. I remember when Ryan came over my house. Him and my marriage, they came. And I was little, I asked them, but I said, Why you want to have a feel lit? That nigga said, Oh, I feel like a bug lit. I'm big so really though. Y'all really know who I am, even though I wanted none of the video. I'm big so I appreciate it, baby. Happy birthday, Ball. It, it is my motherfucking birthday too, if y'all didn't know that either. But I don't live my brother, man. They did my brother wrong, but them bitches that got got, when they go to jail, they gonna get got in that motherfucker. Man, growing up, me and my brother, Bonnie and Clyde, everybody know that. Everybody know I was protecting my brother and he was protecting his sister. Cause nobody fuck with us. We Bonnie and Clyde against whoever. Let me see. Okay, your, your knees quite cheap. So I'm assuming you were the mother of Mr. Rock. Yes, I am. Okay, can you give us a, like, a little insight on Mr. Rock? Oh. He's growing up. Growing up. My son. I, uh, he always wants to be a hustler. He always wants to be a hustler. And I had to cut Lil Hot Mother's part because you know the tragic incident happened the day before, so you can you can kind of understand where she coming from. So she had to finish her part of the documentary and let somebody else speak. Brought brought up uh, stay over at house probably. Him row and Ruby, the whole fucking song. Mama used to have to send us to school. We go in the school, but little you she know we go right out the motherfucking back door. We had over over 50 suspensions a year. And we're all right in the middle of all it, cause we go to school high every morning. They went to school. They only went to school to sell marijuana. Yeah, we so dope at the school. No school they finished selling their marijuana, they was not. I didn't even know. Our life it was going on. We had fun. We had a lot of fun shit, but all our time for having fun, we was getting high and getting some money. We were always together. It was never no distance. This dog, this this gonna be the longest distance we ever had. My brother. Eat the big eat Every time you see Rod, you saw me, you saw me, you saw Rod. It was it was never no me or not no Rod. It, it was always we was always together. He I be at they house. It was never no no this we was always together. My name is Jane. I'm little Rod Cousin. Big Cousin. They're my dog now. They're my rider. And they're my big and that cousin. Every day and time I see that nigga, he want a little bread. He want a little easy. He want a little easy. And you know I got this poor my baby. So I'm out here for my baby. A little rock, goddamn, a little hot. Rest in peace, baby. KB. Hey, Alright, hey, be little hot, man. Y'all know what's going on. Long be a little hot, man. Little mom from the camp, man. Every day you with me, man. You know what's up, man. We been stuck since a baby, man. We been doing this shit, man. We slip on the couch, man. You hear me? We slip in the same bed, man. You know what's up? Hard P. Lil' Hot, man. Hey, man. Hard P. Lil' Hot, man. Long live you forever, dude. You hear me? You know what's up, man. You know what's going on, man. Put this shit on the left. Check that
Yeah. Every day, man. Right? No kidding, man. Right? We gonna pick that shit up, man. Right? Yeah. Oh, that piece of hot, man. Every day, I don't say, man. Right? For real. Oh, that piece of hot, man. 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 I love piece of hot, man. Big, big hot, 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 man. man. R.I.P. Big, big hot. Man. All my nigga want was some money, man. What you talking about, man? Some money and some hoes, man. Yeah, some money and some hoes, man. For sure, man. It's all you want, man. Some money and some hoes, man. First and foremost, shout out to my home girl, Batty, Rap Batty, which is Lil Hot Baby Mama. I think I asked her like two or three times when she pulled up, when she gave me an interview for this documentary. She was like, no, G, no, just I can't do it, man. Which I felt, but you know, major shots out to her again, man, because it took a lot for her to do this. You know, you gotta feel the pain. This, 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 this a daughter, father. You know, like, these guys in a relationship. I know both of them. I got a good uh, relationship with the both of them. You know, so here we go. Nobody but the motherfuckers who I need to talk to. Oh Jesus Christ! Other than that, I ain't been doing no talking for. Get your big nice ass on, big bow head, hey. So you ask. Hey, so tell me the question now. Where you from? Damn! Is he from Fraser? No! Oh, from the mouth. Should've said Riverside in the South. Okay, okay. First, I want to say, man, thank you for giving me this time. I know it's an awkward time to be doing any type of interview. About uh -huh. uh, about a deal, and, you know, but I really want to uh, you know, get catch it at the heat of the moment, yeah. and, you know. Yeah. So whoever, whoever may be viewing this, let them know it's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, files the entertainment business and beyond that, like I really did fuck with with, with both of you guys oh, as a whole. Oh, no count. So no count, my soul. I just want to touch bases with you and um, ask some few questions. Y'all going through y'all thing, but beyond that, I know like, shit, I still like this hard as a team, despite y'all, you know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all, y'all the thing y'all going through. We always still with her. Yeah. We still. I always tell him, I love you with all my heart, you hear me? I'm always there for you, I'm always there. practically raised me, man. You mind tell me to who the person I am today. Like, I'm God. And I just can't make this shit up to folk. It took my home, man. Well, that was what I did. But, you know, then my whole family knew I can rap or whatever. They knew I can rap. But, he, he, he the one who really made me speak this shit out. He really, he really wanted, he really wanted me to. Yeah, uh, uh, that, I can't, I can, I can be a big batch on it. <laughs> Doing that through your session. He the one who. How you like, nah, say it like this, nah, my, do it. My, my, say it, yeah. say it with <laughs> a little more aggression, you hear me? Yeah. Spit this shit out. The man wanted for them folks. He wanted for people to hear what I had to say. Okay. And I'm trying to see like how everybody want me to route, continue to route. Well, I can't. 
I'm trying to see how I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, I can get out. Yay. Get out. Wait. Everybody, like, push this shit. Do what dude wants you to do, man. Push this shit. Then I saw the God for a while, dude, want to do it. Low for How he want to do it. Low Yeah, I'm, uh, that won't be my next question because uh, a few uh, moments ago, I was asking you about the interview you uh, mentioned that you were done rapping. So, what you what you mean by that? Like, for the moment, or just, you just done? All right, right now, geez. I don't even know how to feel. You hear me? And you, you one of the mind people, you hear me? Who was behind us on this shit? Who knew we had talent to get where we needed to go, bro? And I'm trying to see, like, how can I continue rapping? And the first person that I went in the studio with, I ain't heard no. I'm just trying to see, like, I can't make this shit up. Like, what is what? How am I going in motherfucking ease up? I never be the the, the same the same battle who I was before. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I never be the the the. I think like I never be the. I ain't got the extra push behind me no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Tino. It's like <laughs> it's like Tino with that eye. You hear me? Yeah. In a crazy way though, in the most crazy way. <laughs> I'm tricky. <laughs> it's like my Tina with that Ike. Ain't no Ike with that Tina and one no Tina with that Ike, man. Ike Ike made Tina push that shit out. You bitch you better get her a sign. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> he was something like a Ike, but you hear me? There was Mike. He was Ike. There was Mike. <laughs> but it, where do I go from here? Where do I start from here? Don't fall crush me, Jeez. And you know how we rock here. Yeah, my dear. Oh. Like, man, like I was telling my baby mama, uh, we were talking about both of y'all. Like, I was like, damn, man. I was just, just in both of them folks in about trying to get through the Right there, this situation now, man. And then we got picked together after that. Mm. Okay. We Dang. got picked together after that. Mm, sure did. Okay, we got picked together after that. Mm -hmm, sure did. <laughs> Yeah, I knew what we were. But, man, appreciate, appreciate you for your interview, though, man. Yeah, man, you know it's little, man. I show love who show love to me and my, my, my people. You know what I'm saying? I show love to who show love to me and my folks. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And with all that being said, you show love to me, man, every time, man. Like, we went in that goddamn studio and stayed in that motherfucker one night so goddamn long, shout it. It was goddamn crazy. Like, we stayed in that motherfucker like five, six in the morning. Yeah. In the gym. Put that chili oh, on that motherfucker. Make sure you put that chili video on that bitch. Yeah, like, shout it in the chin. Shout it in the back. ODLG. <laughs>